What's up YouTube, Kaito Tanjiro here bringing to you guys a Heraldic Beast deck profile. This is my actual updated one, ignore the last one, since it was obviously not complete. So yeah, let's just get started. So we play 3 Heraldic Beast Leo. Um, this card's effect is, um, Eternal is normal summon, uh, you destroy the end phase. It, it is a 2000 attack beater, so it tops Ryo. And when it's destroyed, you can search for Heraldic Beast in your deck. So, obviously, what the main card of the deck, since uh, you definitely have to run three of those. And, yeah, um, nothing else to say except it's just way OP for the deck. Um, next, we play three Heraldic Beast Ava Conway. So, so, if this card is um, in your graveyard, you can banish. Um, Let's see, um, you can banish another one that was in your graveyard originally, um, and you can, uh, add one of them to your hand, I believe. Yeah, and then you can add, a, um, have a combo to your hand. So, yeah. Next, we play two of Heraldic Beast Twin Eagles. Um, you can banish this card, target, um, an XC Heraldic Beast XC with no materials, and you can just... Uh, target two other ones in your graveyard, like Heraldic Beasts in general, and add it to the XC. Uh, next, we play two Heraldic, Heraldic Beast EO. Um, if you control two or more Heraldic Beast monsters, uh, you can special summon it, so it gives you an extra monster. Sorry about the noise, it's my Skype. Um, Heraldic Beast Unicorn. Um, I believe, um, yeah, you can target, um, uh, XC in your graveyard, Heraldic Beast XC in your graveyard, and special summon it. It works really nice with the, um, Twin Eagle, since you can just banish it, special summon XC, and then you banish Eagle with target 2, so. It feels like a, um, revival deck in XC, uh, based. Heraldic Beast Basilisk. Um, this card, if you, um, if it's destroyed by an opponent, you can destroy the card, uh, yeah, destroy it. So, yeah, nothing much to say. Um, I play two Thunder Kings. Um, this just really locks out your opponent. And usually, I, I wouldn't put it, but, um, it only has to do with Leo. And usually, if you have Leo, you wouldn't summon T King. Um, and even if you can't search with Leo, um, you can still attack for 2000. So, decided to put these two in here to lock out those decks that search. And, yeah. Um, next, we play two Summoner Monks. Um, this just really goes really well with the deck. Um, you can discard a spell card, like most of you guys should know. And you guys can um, special summon a level 4 monster from your graveyard. Oh, sorry, your deck. In your graveyard. The whole deck is based well upon... Fresh new things from the graveyard and stuff. Um, so yeah. For the spells, we play three Hell's Reborn. Um, you can just, but it's like a monster form for only Heraldic Beast. Uh, Advanced Hell's Reborn. Um, this card is way too good. So, you can target two Heraldic Beasts in your graveyard, special summon them, and it exceeds instantly. Mm -hmm. And well, that's how it, that's how you. Uh, use it to like you have to exceed in, uh, like at that specific time. So you can just go for any rank four basically. Two MSTs, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, My Control, Book of Moon, and Monster Reborn. For our traps, we have Song the Song Brigade. Two Heraldry Change, Heraldry Change. Um. It's like a battle fader, but it's a trap. You can special summon a heraldic beast from your hand and get end the battle phase. I play three horns of phantom beast since it just works insanely well with the deck. I will show you guys later when I do a Rio um, on our daily duel videos. I play two mirror force, obviously, two torrential tributes, and call of the haunted. Um, I haven't really got like um. Like a really, how should I say it? Um, constructive, constructive extra deck. 
I mean, I'm gonna work on it, but I'm not really maining this deck right now, so I'm not putting too much focus on it. But all I can tell you guys is one, two, three, and number eights. See, this card, you can detach an XC material, copy your um, opponent's XC's attack, defense, effect, um, and theirs just changes to zero, so, yeah. Way too sacky. I mean, like, these cards, like, look at this. First edition is just, like, about, how should I say it? It's, like, it's, like, $2-ish, I think. And... Yeah, but the problem it, it would have been it would be like what ten dollars ish, but um it has to be heraldic beast. So yeah, that's it guys for the deck profile. This is my build of it. Um if you guys have any questions feel free to PM me or comment below and thanks for watching.